According to international.la-croy.com, intense conflict is ongoing between ethnic Shan guerrillas and the military junta in northern Myanmar along the border with China. In response to this situation, Beijing has initiated real combat exercises to protect its territory. China is determined to prevent the spillover of the Myanmar conflict into its own territory, and as a result, it is conducting extensive military drills along its border with Myanmar. Chinese authorities have also urgently advised their citizens to leave the conflict-affected northern region of Myanmar. The clashes have escalated significantly in various parts of northern Myanmar's Shan state, particularly near the Chinese border. This has led to the displacement of more than 80,000 people locally and at least 286,000 across the country since the military coup in February 2021, as reported by the United Nations. This rebellion represents a significant challenge to Myanmar's well-equipped military since it seized power through a coup in 2021. Encouraged by the offensive in the north, pro-democracy militias have increased their attacks on security forces in other parts of the country. The insurgents, known as the Three Brotherhood Alliance, claim to have captured several towns in the Kyan Sanchot border gate, one of the five major trading zones in the township of Meuse, which is opposite China. Myanmar's military has pledged to restore order and stated that it is cooperating with China to maintain stability in the region. China has initiated combat exercises over the weekend, which are scheduled to continue until Tuesday. Chinese state media has reported that these exercises are designed to assess the rapid maneuverability of theater troops, their combat capabilities, and their readiness to secure the border with Myanmar. The Myanmar junta has acknowledged its awareness of these drills. The Chinese army conducts a large artillery exercise near the guerrilla zone in Myanmar. The Chinese People's Liberation Army, PLA, deployed self-propelled howitzers and counter-battery radars in its ongoing live-fire exercise on the Chinese side of the China-Myanmar border in a move to test and show the troops' combat capabilities in safeguarding national sovereignty and border stability amid an armed conflict in the neighboring country, Lu Xuanzun reports in Global Times. The People's Liberation Army, PLA, Southern Theater Command of China organized a three-day combat exercise on the Chinese side of the China-Myanmar border, as reported by China Central Television, CCTV. This training was part of an annual schedule and aimed to test various capabilities of the troops, including fast maneuvering, border blockading, and fire striking. During the exercise, multiple strike groups executed precision strikes on randomly selected targets in different directions. Minesweeping and explosives disposal units prepared paths for the armored assault units, which consisted of wheeled infantry fighting vehicles. These vehicles deployed smoke screens to conceal infantry soldiers attacking randomly chosen targets. Concurrently, various artillery types, such as vehicle-mounted rapid-fire guns and mortars, were used to accurately hit targets located in mountainous and forested areas. The forces involved used vehicle-mounted counter-battery radars to pinpoint target positions. This data was automatically sent to the artillery forces' firepower terminals, guiding vehicle-mounted howitzer units to carry out effective suppressive fire on the targets. The exercise took place in three regions of Yunnan province, as stated on the province's government website. These locations included areas in Mangshir City, Rueli City, and Jiangma County. A military expert, speaking anonymously to the Global Times, mentioned the challenging nature of the mountainous and forest-covered terrain along the China-Myanmar border, especially for target searching and precision striking. The expert also highlighted the deployment of a combination of artillery, including vehicle-mounted howitzers and anti-battery radars. This setup allowed the PLA to accurately locate and swiftly neutralize potential threats. The mobility of the artillery, being either man-portable or vehicle-mounted, made them less vulnerable to counter-battery radar detection from opponents. This exercise occurred during a period of escalating armed conflict in northern Myanmar, near the China-Myanmar border. The Chinese embassy in Myanmar advised Chinese personnel to evacuate from the Lakai area in the Kokong region, close to the Chinese border. Zhang Junxi, another military expert, 
told the Global Times that the exercise improved the PLA's rapid maneuvering and positioning capabilities, preparing them for any incidents along the border. He explained that the training for a border blockade could enable the PLA to quickly secure the area and control the situation if foreign armed forces crossed the border, thereby maintaining stability and safety in the region. Zhang also noted that training in fire strikes serves as a deterrent, warning against hostile forces trespassing into Chinese territory.